Hello, 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 <laughs> and we're live. Good morning, sunrise stretchers. Day three of our September challenge. How is everyone feeling? I saw a few posts of people saying, Whoo, this is going to be a month. But also a lot of people are super excited. I'm actually just seeing now some food posts going on some dot posts going on um it's just been absolutely amazing to see how you guys have like really just dived into this head first all right so swipe in let me know you're here i'm going to find you all <laughs> this is like same story different day just sometimes hard for the facebook to catch up with where we are <laughs> I um, I ended up taking an unexpected rest day yesterday um, I actually had so many plans and then besides load shedding um, the valley that I live in um, our actual power was down um, and then I actually ended up using the day to just chill I had a nap so great um, I got to spend some quality time with my man, which was really, really nice. Um, and it was just lovely. It was lovely to have an off day. Um, so from today, no more off day <laughs> for the week. I've got to keep going. I'm definitely going to squeeze a hit session in. Um, who can recommend what has been your favorite hit session um, over the last two days? Um, I'd love to hear. Megan James. Good morning, beautiful Megan. Hi, Candace. Always here. Chantal Egan, good morning. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. It's starting to feel more like spring. I wish I could show you guys. I'll have to take a photo sometime. But you can actually see the sky. It's blue, it's pink. There's a sun coming up. Um, if I look outside the windows here where I'm teaching from, I can see the ocean. So one of these days, it's going to be morning ocean dips. I'm so excited, so excited. Hi, everyone. If you're here, swipe in. Hi, Eva. Good morning. Um, guys, super impressed. Like I was saying now, nah, I've seen so many posts pop up. Everyone is just giving this their all, jumping into cold swimming pools, doing all kinds of crazy things. Um, absolutely amazing, super inspiring. Um, I think you'll see me in the water a little more towards the end of the month when it's warmed up a little bit more. Um, but I know how, how good that, that is for your body so and for your mind. It brings a lot of clarity. So I think I'll have to get into that sometime. Candace says it's storming here. Oh, Candace, we had hectic storms the whole night. Sounded like our roof was going to blow off. Uh, and then I woke up this morning and everything is dead quiet. So it's like the calm after the storm. Katie Mayhew, gonna catch up this after gonna catch up after school run. Too much chaos at this stage in the morning. I can imagine. I mean, I I, I don't know how all of your morning routines look, but so I get up at 5:30 every day, and I because I have to leave the farm to get to town where I teach. So I make sure that everything I need the next morning is packed the previous night. Doesn't matter how tired I am, I will walk around with my eyes half closed and I will put everything on charge that needs to be on charge. I will literally pack my clothes ready. My bag will be ready for me just to put my charged items in there. My tea is standing ready, the kettle is full. So when I wake up, put the kettle on, brush my teeth, wash my face, put my contacts on, kettles boiled, make my tea, pack my bag, and I'm on the road. So there's no madness. And I'm obviously, I do not have the variable factor of a child <laughs> or a dog because I've only got a cat and she's like super easy and like she only gets out of bed at like 10 o'clock. So <laughs> um, but it, it must say like that's something that really, really helps me. Um, I know it takes that little bit of extra energy, but um, it's also like a great time to maybe listen to a podcast or the kids might already be in bed, so an audio book um, and just use that time to kind of 
organize, pack your things while you're listening to something that is um, inspiring or calming or takes you a little bit into your imagination, kind of out of this front part of our monkey mind that um, keeps us so crazy and busy. Um, I also I also tend to like work quite well at night, like my admin things when things are quieter. I was chatting to a friend the other day and um, she said that she started working at 10 p.m. the other night and worked until like 6 a.m. because it was just so quiet. Um, my dad's been doing that for years. So um, yeah, making sure you get enough sleep, but also knowing that sometimes first thing in the morning, you know, you want to be organized and ready. So you just start your day really grounded. Um, uh, but good luck, Katie. And I'm glad that you have decided you'll catch up on your flow in any case. Let me know how it goes. Hi everyone who's just hopped on. Haley says two out of three. You guys have got it. It's taken so long <laughs> for all of us to get on this train of getting to our floor, but I can really see that it's happening now. So that's amazing. And I hope you guys are feeling amazing, right? I've, I've heard some good feedback. I want to hear all of your feedback. How do your bodies feel? Do your joints feel better? How's your posture feeling? How's your back feeling? Um, do you feel a little bit of relief around um, some of your tighter muscles? Has it improved any other aspects of your physical practice? Um, let me know. Good morning, Megan van der and also says two out of three. Amazing, Megan. Well done. Catherine, need your stretch and relax after Siri session this morning. What did Siri do to you this morning? I'm thinking I'm going to catch up her session um, after this. So. Whoever is doing 8 a.m., I'm going to do probably series 6 a.m. after this. We're going to warm up our bodies and we're going to be ready for that. Whoever's just done Siri, use this to relax, to stretch out, to ground and to breathe. All right. Um, Jolene will be oh, nice to see your face pop up here so often. Um, Aleta, good morning. Nursing a neck and shoulder spasm. Is it okay to do the, se the session now? Day three and much better, but still tender and sore. Aleta, so I get that quite a lot. Um, make you, you can do the session. Take it really, really easy. Um, and avoid over-stretching in that area and over-contracting in that area. So be very neutral, I would say, from the shoulders up. Obviously, everything is very connected. So your spasm in your left shoulder could actually be coming from an imbalance in your right hip. Um, so I don't know, maybe send me a DM. I don't know if you've been to a physio or someone to really check out what's going on in the alignment of your body because um, that could really help. I don't know if it's a regular thing. Mine happens every now and then. I've been lucky um, that I've kind of really worked on my body to, to stop that from happening. So I haven't had it in a while, but send me a DM. I'd like to speak to you about it. Um, but otherwise, yeah, just be quite neutral very relaxed um, and just nice deep breaths. All right, we still got lots of time. Um, let me know if you've got another question and I'd be happy to help. Um, Zalna, with your music dots every morning, Zalna, is that music or is that you singing? Because <laughs> I love both of those. Um, Colleen LaRue, Chili Klein Karua, ooh, I can't imagine. The Karua would buy a coat there so people would look. Um, Rachel, good morning, hi. Gardy, Taylor, Roz, hi everybody. Carmelita, four out of five. Much, much better form. It's amazing what I can do now. Good luck with a 6 a.m. Sorry, it was dark again. <laughs> Sorry, it's like always dark. Um, thanks, Carmelita, four out of five. That's incredible. It is only, what is today? Oh no, today is Thursday. So you've done one extra session. No, you've done a session every day. Guys, I was like this yesterday morning as well. The brain was like completely foggy. <laughs> um, amazing comedy. It's my four out of five as well. Uh, pleasure, Aleta. Again, please feel free to message me. I'd be happy to help you out. Um, Beverly, four out of five. You and the Nivot. Hi, everyone. So I was saying I had an um, unexpected um, rest day yesterday, which was so nice because I actually just allowed myself to have it. And um, I had no reception on the farm. 
And I actually just took it as like a sign from the universe to just take some time off. And it's amazing how refreshing that can be. And what was really nice is that I, um, I ended up, because it's been on my list, um, to really do like a full count and like clean and care of all the pot plants in my house. So I've got like quite a lot of, there's like at least one plant in every room if not like four or five. <laughs> um, and um, I bought some uh, organic plant food um, from my local nursery, which is also where I buy all my pots. Um, it's a lovely family run business and they're just absolutely amazing. Um, and so I went around to each plant, cleaned it out, uh, cleaned their leaves, um, put in their new plant food, added some soil if they needed, clean their parts, clean the area that they're in. Um, and there's this, this uh, I, I read something somewhere um, that, you know, you should give your plants names um, and you can even name it after yourself. And I thought that was the most beautiful thing because now kind of all my plants are called Kathleen. And to me, what they represent um, is all the different aspects of myself. So all the different parts of myself, right? We are extremely dynamic um, creatures. And we are so layered. And there's so many parts of ourselves. And so when you go around to each of your plants and you look at their state of being, you know, some of them are flourishing. Some of my plants are just like, whoa, calm down. You're going to overgrow my house. And some of them are just like, they won't, like, they just, like, almost, like, neglected, you know? But, like, I don't intentionally neglect them. And I feel like I do give them care and love as much as the others. But, like, clearly something's missing. Um, and so that becomes a beautiful reminder to me to look at the parts of myself, um, whether that's physically part of my body, externally. So muscles, joints, lig uh, yeah, I guess, like, muscles, joints, tendons, ligaments, more the um, bigger parts of the body, um, but also internally, the more subtler parts, um, my internal systems, my organs, those kinds of things. And then look at all parts of my of myself. So where am I neglecting myself? Um, and where am I kind of putting so much attention and focus into? Because we have to find that balance. Because if you're only running one part the whole time, not only are you neglecting the other parts, but you're going to burn out this part. Um, and so... Yeah, just a little bit of a, a tip of, of me and my plant life at home, um, naming them after yourself and then noticing, noticing what's going on with each one. You know, sometimes they don't thrive in a specific environment and you've got to move them around in your house. And I think that's the same in our, in our lives. You know, sometimes you perhaps set up a specific time to do something and you just can't get to it. Like you can't stick to that time. Somehow something always ends up happening or you don't feel like doing it or you needed power and there's a power cut or whatever. Those are kind of all little signs showing you that that's not the right time maybe to do that particular thing. Um, so being able to shuffle around, you know, I always say um, we need a structure, but we need to be able to be creative within that structure. And um, I'll use that as a segue to today's structure. So very exciting stuff coming up today, guys. We have uh, Capano, who's actually doing boxing now after me, um, that will obviously be followed by a story. And then we've got a super important Jeff Ed talk today, right? So that's going to be with Coach Liz and Coach Ryan. Um, and they are going to be explaining our LIT, our low impact training, all right? So the benefits of it, um, who's it appropriate for? It's actually appropriate for almost anyone. Um, but what, what will you really get out of it? What are the benefits of doing, you know, that type of training? And perhaps that's something that can substitute a hit every now and then if you're just not feeling the hit on that day. Um, so if you're not even feeling like doing the hit, you can do the lit. If you don't have the energy for the lit, get your flow in. If you're not even feeling like a flow, go for a walk around the block. You can always get some movement in. We have to move every day. We need it. Our bodies require that from us. All right. We've got little legends today. And then Liz will lead the lit this afternoon. And then, of course, we've got our beautiful Doki doing boxing at 5.30. 
guys so many options to choose from so many people chose so many options yesterday that we had over a thousand two hundred workouts logged yesterday how insane is that that's a lot of that's a lot of work being done um, i know there were a lot of flows logged so amazing guys super proud of all of you um got a few minutes a couple minutes before we start but i just wanted to say incredible I know it's tough to get to everything, but you guys are so inspiring. Keep going, keep pushing, right? We're on day three, okay? We are 10% of the way. <laughs> and we still have a long way to go, but we can do this together, so don't give up. Remember to take your rest days. Remember to feel your body. Remember to drink your water. Remember to rest. Um, otherwise, this is going to become quite torturous by the end of the month. All right, everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone who's just jumped on. Barbara Dalton, thanks for all your wise tips and ideas. Such a pleasure, pleasure Barbara. Um, sometimes I think they're a bit crazy. <laughs> if you see me walking around my house speaking to my plants, um, telling them that everything is going to be okay, <laughs> especially to the ones who aren't looking too great. Um, uh, such a pleasure, everyone. Natasha Weber, starting my day up with some flow. Tight muscles need attention. Yay, Natasha. Um, that's fantastic. Today we're going to stretch it out. It's going to be a nice, simple practice. Nothing fancy. Just moving our body. We'll definitely do some lymph today. Get the lymph moving through the body. Remember, we need to get that lymph pumping. It's the garbage system of our body. And when you are working out, working out, working out, burning energy, burning energy, burning energy, you are creating metabolic waste, right? And a lot of the time that metabolic waste goes and sits in areas in your body where it can't move because the lymph is too stagnant. Um, so we need to move that. All right, everyone. I think let's get started. It is 7 a.m. Jono, morning. All need this today. Yes, Jono, because you hit instructors are busy killing everyone. <laughs> but we're in it. We're in it to win it. Hello, Siri. Good morning. Hi, everyone. All right. So you'll need your cushion as per usual. Um, for those of you who are perhaps new to Flow this morning, I didn't see any newbies comment here. Maybe I missed you. If I did, welcome, welcome. You'll always kind of need a cushion with you. Um, so that's just as an extra little bit of padding, um, should you need it, or um, to lift your seat if your hips are feeling a little bit tight. All right, so we're going to start standing this morning. I know most of you probably want to start lying down, but let's start standing and then we'll move towards a, a, a flatter position. Okay, let's come to stand with our feet hip distance apart. Take a few nice big loops of the shoulders. So just really relax into this. Let it be quite soft. Just move around the chest area, the shoulder girdle. Oh, so nice. Just release. As you do this, you could perhaps close the eyes if you're comfortable. And then just start to deepen your breath. So let's all take a deep breath in together. And a slow, long exhale. And a deep breath in. And a long exhale. Nice. Open your eyes. Change the direction of the shoulders so you can see my arms kind of need to move around just to join that feeling of really moving these arm bones around in those shoulder joints. All right, let's take one more loop up and back. Beautiful. Okay, then take your right arm to lift up in front of you. Turn your palm to face towards the left. Take your left hand underneath your right and just start to pull that right arm across. So your right arm is very uh, gently extended and you're just stretching across the right side of the shoulder. I'm not really twisting too much to my right yet. I'm just feeling into my sh right shoulder. 
and my left arm is supporting it. My neck is neutral, my head is level, and I'm breathing. All right, and take a little bend in your knees. Your hips are going to move with a twist, so just gently go over to the side and just twist over to your left. All right, so we get this rotation in the rib cage. You're breathing nice and deep. Okay, and then look forward and simply unravel. Right, you can take a little loop or two of the shoulders here before we move to the other side. Okay, left arm out in front of you, rotate the palm to the right, take right arm under left and start to draw that arm across. Okay, then again, it's a gentle extension of that left arm here. Just drawing it across, moving it over my midline, but I'm keeping the rest of my body quite still, quite symmetrical. My gaze is soft, and I'm very present, guys. So remember, these flow um, sessions, especially when I say close your eyes, are not here for you to kind of spiral out into the mind, into that busy monkey mind. You're not planning your day during your flow session, <laughs> all right? The flow time is for you to not plan, to not think, to not stress, to not worry. Obviously, thoughts pop up, right? We can't control that. But you can control how you react to that influx of thoughts. So you can allow them in, but then you let them just flow past. Takes practice. All right, bend your knees a little. And then twist all the way over to your right. Okay, you guys know the rule. Don't overstretch. And let her just be very careful with this, with that neck. Um, this might not feel good to, to go in really deep. So just take it really easy. All right. Two more breaths. Nice. Look forward. And simply unravel. All right. Taking your arms out to the side. Take a nice full stretch. And then bring your arms out in front of you. Move through a few wrist rolls. All right. And then you're going to take your palms to face up. Bend your right elbow and place that arm up and the hand up and back between the shoulders okay sweep your left arm around and up and then see if you can reach for that right elbow and point the ceiling up uh, the elbow up towards the ceiling all right take a little bend in your knees look over to your left and just start to move the body to arch over to the left for side stretch press firmly into the feet and start to extend through the legs. Deepen your breath. Nice, let's bend the knees, come back up. And then just everything back into neutral, nice. Both arms up in front of you, move through a few wrist rolls. All right, both palms face up, left elbow to bend, arm up and over. This side is completely different for me than the other side, so just notice your asymmetry. Bring your right arm out, up and over, reach for your elbow and try and encourage that left elbow up to the ceiling. Ooh, I can feel my triceps. Can you guys feel your triceps? Take a little bend in the knees and start to move over to your right take the gaze down so that we're not really moving anything through the neck the neck is just kind of supported through this nice one more breath and straighten the legs 
Hold it, stay with me. And then bend the knees, come up. Good job, and release the arms. Okay, let's turn to move to the top of our mat. So feet can be hip distance apart. Reach both arms up, take a nice full stretch up through the belly. And then bend the knees, sit down into a chair pose. Wake up your legs a little, straighten your arms, just one breath here. And then go into a nice bent knee forward fold. So let the spine drip down, tuck your chin, draw lower belly in. And then just start to pedal out the legs. So if your hands aren't on the ground, you could even have your hands to your shins. You're just going to pedal out the legs. But try and keep your chin curling towards the throat. So you are working that whole back line. All right. Make sure you've done equal amounts to both sides. And then you'll pause. Take a little halfway lift. Fingertips to the floor. Step your left foot back. Pad your knee if you need to, ground that left knee, and untuck your left toes. Take your right foot out to the right, turn your right toes diagonally to the right corner of your mat. Runner's lunge, bring your hands to the inside of this right foot. Okay, so again, this is where you might stay. If you aren't <laughs> extremely tight and stiff after your last few hit sessions you might take yourself all the way down onto your forearms we're gonna hold five full breaths so remember no cheating I'm not seeing how many breaths you're taking so I need you to count five full inhales five full exhales Awesome. Finish off that last exhale and come back up onto your hands. Okay. Bring yourself to stack that left hip above your left knee and bring your right foot back into alignment so that feet are on parallel tracks. We're going to move into what we call a half split. So keep this left hip stacked above your left uh, knee and start to scooch this right foot forward, flexing your right toes back for a moment. Okay, so you can see you might have a bent knee, okay, you might have a straight leg, you might stay up on your fingertips, you might start to walk yourself a little more forward. Okay, whatever you choose, find your alignment and then relax your foot and your ankle. So we get into the hamstring, again tuck your chin and then we'll take five full deep breaths here. Try to find length through your lower back. So don't force your forehead to your shin. Okay, the sit bones move back. And feel how when you start to tilt your pelvis forward, that obviously draws on the glutes. It draws on the hamstring. So you're only thinking about your lower back here. The rest of the spine just kind of falls gently where it must. So nice. Slide that right foot back so that you can press into it. You're going to step into a high plank. So find your high plank. Press firmly into the hands. Squeeze the thigh muscles. Dome a little through the upper back. I'm not piking my buttocks up. I'm also not dropping them down. I'm in a nice long line. Beautiful, everyone. Lower your knees. Hug elbows in and back and bring yourself down onto the floor and tuck your toes. Okay, a little shoulder stretch here. So take your left arm out to the side. Come onto the left side of your head. Press into your right hand and start to roll onto your left hip. 
Okay, so again, this might be too intense on your shoulder. You'll stay here, come out if you need to. If you're going further, that right foot can come up and back behind you. If you're going even further, top arm can take an internal rotation and that hand can come behind you. Again, we're going to take five full deep breaths. Well done, everyone. Hold two more. I know you want to come out, but stay in it. Unless it's painful. And then to come out, we reverse. Release right arm, right leg. Roll back onto the belly. Tuck your left hand back underneath your shoulder and press up onto your knees. Find your tabletop position. We'll move through five rounds of cat-cow. Okay, so really nice way to check in with your spine here, the pelvic girdle and the shoulder girdle. Spread through your hands, your fingers. So you're not kind of crunching the hands in together like that. You're really spreading out through your hands. All right, so that, that, your hands are your foundation. You want to spread the weight across the hands so that you're not collapsing into your wrist bones. That's why a lot of the time when people practice yoga, they go, oh, it's too sore on my wrists because you're dumping in the back of the wrist. You need to bring your weight into your fingerprints. Five rounds, cat cow. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Tuck your chin, bring your shoulders above your wrists. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Three more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Lengthen. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. neutral spine tuck your toes under let's find a downward dog so make sure your hands are shoulder distance apart lift your hips up and back stretch through the arms and relax your head down and the same thing as we did when we were standing in our forward fold you're just going to pedal out the legs here one at a time so now looking to get a little more into our calf muscles keep going Nice, keep going, pedal out the legs. And then make sure you've done equal amounts to both sides. Okay, a little bit of core activation here. You're going to walk, step your right foot forward, but just one of your foot's lengths forward. Okay, suck your lower belly in, take left foot forward. If you get to this point, you need to lift onto your fingertips, do so. Step right foot forward, just past left. And left foot forward, just past right. And then bring both feet level to one another. Bend the knees, tuck the tailbone to roll the spine all the way up. And loop the shoulders. Oh, so nice. Take a full breath in. Sit into your chair pose and fold forward. This time hands can come behind the calf muscles. You can maybe start to straighten out your legs a little more. Head is completely relaxed. And you're just holding this inversion. You can take a little rub behind your legs, the hamstrings. Kind of feel into them. Notice how tight they feel, perhaps in and around the knees, the calf muscles, the ankles, the buttocks, thighs. Nice way just to stimulate the lymph, the blood flow. All right, hands come down, take a halfway lift. Step your right foot back. 
Gently lower your knee pad if you need to. Untuck your toes. Heel toe your left foot out to the side. Turn your left toes diagonally out. So they're kind of moving in the direction of the top left corner of your mat. Hands come to the inside. I'm long through my spine. And then perhaps you come down onto your forearms if you did so on the other side. Five full breaths. In and out through the nose. Remembering that the breath moving in and out through the nose and the lungs is our macro respiration. Right? But then our micro breathing is our cellular respiration. So we breathe on this big level where it's in and out from the atmosphere into our body. But then internally, those oxygen molecules have to then be transported so that each of your little cells can also have a breath. So you really need to get your breath in so you can give your body as much oxygen as possible. Okay, again, you're counting, I'm not, so make sure you've done all five rounds. And then you'll bring yourself up. Okay, it's that little half split, so drawing your left foot in, feet are par or legs are parallel rather. Take that left foot a little further forward, make sure your right hip is stacked above its knee. Okay, extend that front leg or keep it bent. But make sure that you are curling your chin in towards your chest. Relax your left ankle, your left foot. Woo, I don't know what's going on on my left side, but everything on my left side is tight this morning. Deep, full breaths. Stay in it. Relax a little more. So relax tension around your shoulders and your face. All right. And then look forward, slide that foot back. Tuck your right toes under, step into your high plank. Okay, just hold here for a moment. Getting this nice isometric contraction through the body. Beautiful. Lower your knees. Hug your elbows in and back from all the way down. We're going to move into that little shoulder stretch to the other side. So right arm extends out into like a T shape. Okay, you're going to roll into your right shoulder, right hip. Maybe you stay here. Maybe left foot comes behind you. Maybe left shoulder internally rotates that hand behind you. And again, we're going to take five full deep breaths. And relax. Allow this time to be a time for you. Unplug from everyone and anything else. Don't let it seep into your awareness and draw your focus and draw from your energy. This is your time. And then we'll come out. So reverse. Left arm. Left leg. Roll onto your belly. And then right hand underneath your shoulders. Press onto your knees. And this time we'll take a child's pose. So big toes together, knees apart. Sit yourself all the way down and back. You could place a cushion between your buttocks and your heels. And forehead to the mat, arms reaching forward. Deepening your breath. And let's find our downward dog again. So hands are shoulder distance apart. Find your downward dog. Knees can be bent. Send the sit bones nice and high. And then bring your feet a little closer together. We're going to stretch into our left side body. So start to take your heels and your buttocks to the right. My right foot is to the inside of my left. And you're going to look to extend that left heel down. So you're stretching open left side of the body. 
Just one breath here. No strong stay in it. Nice. Back to center. Bend both knees. I'm not moving my feet. They're just swiveling. So now buttocks and the heels to the left. Start to extend your right leg. Maybe right heel really grounds. And you can look under your right uh, armpit. Nice. And then both knees to bend. Walk yourself to the center of your mat. Bend your knees. And slowly roll all the way up. Good job, everyone. Okay, let's find our balance. Bring weight into your left leg. So I'm just going to switch to show you. And then slowly bring your right knee into chest. You can interlace your fingers and just draw that right knee into squeeze. I've got a soft right foot. I've got a relaxed right thigh and hip flexor. Okay, then I'm going to take my left hand to my left hip, bend my left knee. Reach for that right foot and bring my heel behind towards my buttocks. Okay, so now I'm squeezing it in. I'm trying to get a nice opening in the front of this right thigh. Maybe kick back a little bit. If you like, you could take both hands to that foot, take a nice rotation of the shoulders, kick back a little more. So strong on this one. Don't overdo it. You can do two hands or just one. Okay, we're going to hold. Bent knee helps a lot with balance. Good job. See if you can bring that knee back to chest without falling out of your balance. And give it a nice squeeze again. And right leg down. Nice work, everyone. Second side. Left knee into chest. Change your interlace. Relax left foot, relax left hip flexor. Nice. And then right hand to hip. Bend right knee. Slide the hand whoop, to the foot. <laughs> if you wobble, bring yourself back. Okay, find your balance. And then squeeze that heel to buttock. Oh, stretching open the front of that left hip flexor. Maybe even as deep as the psoas for that left thigh for sure. And remember this little uh, wobble of the standing foot is absolutely fine. Especially for those of you who are runners, trail runners specifically. When you do these little balances, right, you really stimulate and strengthen all the really small little stabilizing muscles in your feet. So balancing work is really great if you do that kind of training. Yeah, you're staying here, or if you did so on the other side, take your right hand back. Take that opening of the chest, kick back. Okay, if you still got one hand, that's fine. Maybe you're bending in that right knee. Keep your head balanced. So if you're going to take it forward or back, the head is very heavy. That will pull you out of balance. And find a spot that's not on the floor. So lift your gaze. Look forward. That draws the energy up. It makes the pose lighter. All right, left knee to chest if you can without losing the balance. Squeeze it in. Good job, everyone. And lower it down. And shake out the arms and the legs. So shaking is really good for our bodies. It really helps us to release and relax any tension. So I want you to just shake out a little bit. So shake out your legs. Shake out your feet, shake out your arms. I always kind of um, compare shaking, um, like, you know, <laughs> uh, if, if someone, if like a kid throws a tantrum, right, they're obviously holding like a lot of tension, like whatever the emotion might be. And then it's kind of like, oh, you know, like in any kind of movie when someone throws a tantrum, it's like, oh, it's like the shaking out, right? So when you shake, you're releasing. It might not be that intense in the moment. It might not be a tantrum. <laughs> but for me, it's so nice. I feel like my body really relaxes. There's so much research being done on, on body shaking, on body tapping, all that kind of work. And of course, this is really nice. There's no effort. We're doing a little bit of pumping and movement. It's quite soft on the joints. 
You can even like walk around a little bit, make it nice and easy, make it a little bit fun so we don't take life too seriously. This is time to relax, maybe to take a smile if you haven't even smiled this morning yet and just connect to your breath and start your day with a positive mindset. Okay, let's take a few more just walks around, a few little shrugs of the shoulders. Oh, I immediately feel more relaxed. Then we're going to take three full breaths together with nice long exhales. So breathing in and a long exhale. Nice. Breathing in and a long exhale. And one more like that. Inhale and exhale. So nice. Well done, everyone. Come to stand still. Take a little loop or two of the shoulders. And then just pause here for a moment. Equal standing pose. You can close your eyes. And just feel your own vibration. So feel the tingling in your body, feel that aliveness, that awakeness, the privilege it is to have a body that moves and works and the body that serves you so hard every day, doing so many things that you're not even aware of it doing. And so often we get very frustrated and angry at our bodies, you know, even disappointed that there's certain things it can't do, when in actual fact, it's doing thousands of other processes every single second, you know, that we're not even aware of. So just finding gratitude in what your body already does for you. And then you really start to appreciate every extra little bit of effort that it is able to do for you. And let's open the eyes. Take a full reach up, full stretch. And then a last little forward fold here, bend the knees and tuck the chin. So just hang out here for a few breaths. It's a nice gentle inversion. Press into the feet, squeeze your buttocks, bend the knees to roll your spine all the way up and loop the shoulders. All right. Let's take a little lie down. I know it's half past, but let's just take one extra minute just to lay down. Take your feet as wide as your mat, your inner knees to touch, and just reach both arms up overhead. Okay, so we'll just take an extra minute here just to really get to pause before we move into our day. We get to use this time not only to decide what kind of day we would like, because that we can't always determine, right? But rather to decide with what attitude you will move through this day with. One of gratitude, one of joy, one of understanding, one of compassion, one of love. Energetic but connected. Focused but calm. And 100% yourself. Let's reach the feet forward and the arms back. Take a full body stretch. And then slowly slide the knees back to your chest. You can even lift your nose to take a full body squeeze. Relax your head and shoulders down. Roll over to one side. Gently push yourself up. Cross the legs. Notice if that's the way you always cross your legs. Change the cross of your legs. Place your hands down, close your eyes. Last deep breath in together. Exhale out. Beautiful, and open your eyes. 
Thank you all for joining. Thank you for your consistent dedication to this practice. It is work while doing the work. Well done, everyone. <laughs> the sunlight glow. Is it my sun that just creeps in there? I saw. I was wondering if the glare was going to become too intense. <laughs> but it's so sunny, guys. I'm like, oh, it's such a beautiful day. I'm like so motivated. I'm going to get home now. I'm going to do study session and then I'm going to go for a run. And um, if the clouds pass and there is blue sky and sunshine, I might even jump into the dam. I can't. Do you guys have any tips for cold water? Except for the, I don't know if any of you have done the Wim Hof method, where you, um, <laughs> you warm up your body first before you do it. Any other tips for cold water um, immersions, please let me know. Um, yeah, maybe I'll have to have someone to, to also jump into cold water and join me. And um, I think that's the only way I'll be able to do it. Um, Thank you all for joining. Janine, namaste. Now they'd slay. <laughs> With a mermaid, I don't think I can love that more. Um, Janine, absolutely have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, such a pleasure, Jolene. Um, you rock, Beverly. You rock. Uh, all right, a letter here. Yay. So what I need to just do with my body loud. Fantastic, a letter. Um, I'm so glad. I was a bit worried that you were going to do something. And sometimes when you do move, it, it kind of reactivates that um, spasm. So I'm really glad that didn't happen. Please message me um, and maybe we can find a few more alternatives for you um, in the practice. Um, shook it. No. Did you guys enjoy the shaking? I absolutely love the shaking. Roz, I find race days so hard. It's so frustrating doing nothing. That is my challenge this month. Roz, there are so many things you can do with a race day. I, what I love to do with race days is, so I've got a, I don't know if you guys are like me, but when you, you go onto the internet and you start to um, kind of uh, go down the rabbit hole, so that could be YouTube videos <laughs> um, or articles, and then I just save them in my bookmarks, and then I never end up reading them. Right, Roz? Great opportunity to sit and go read those articles, read a book that you've been wanting to, listen to an audio um, book, listen to a podcast. I don't know if you guys listen to podcasts. Um, I don't know if you've got any recommendations for me for podcasts. I've got a few for you. So hit me up and I'll let you know kind of one of my favorite ones is Super Soul Sessions. Um, and that's with Oprah Winfrey. I mean, who does not love Oprah? Like she's like, one of my biggest expanders. I want to be like Oprah one day. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be Oprah. Um, but if you have any um, podcasts, please let me know. I'd love to hear. Um, I listen to quite a few. So if you've got anything specific you what you would maybe like to hear, then then give me a shout out. Um, all right, guys. I'm glad that you enjoyed that. Hi, Sam and Kerry Paddock. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Megan James, I'm so glad you enjoyed the shaking. Um, yeah, Roz, so listen, I would start with Super Soul Sessions. Um, she interviews some amazing people like uh, Elizabeth Gilbert, who wrote Eat, Pray, Love. She uh, uh, interviews Eckhart Tolle, who wrote The Power of Now. Um, she, she just, yeah, I mean, it's Oprah. <laughs> um, there's some really some amazing podcasts, so... Yeah, uh, freezing in Joburg, Circuit not jumping into any cold water, but the session was amazing. And a hot bath sounds like a plan. You see, Adal, that's how I am. I'm like, why would you jump into the cold dam or river or pool if you can like put some oils in your bath and just like soak up the warmness? Maybe I should do that instead. Um, but everyone, I'm going to hop off. Um, remember, there's so many options today. We had 1,200 workouts logged yesterday. Absolutely insane. So inspiring. Remember, this is, this is just the Jeff members, guys, that are doing this. This isn't everyone from the Jeff Together group. This is just our members. And it just shows how amazing Jeff is, how amazing this Jeff Together community is. 
and really once you're in you're in you're hooked you're not going anywhere um, so remember prizes that are up for grabs is something like a one year jet membership all right i know oh, i see some shadows oh there's someone there i know that um all of you want that so yeah um thank you all for joining um keep an eye out for everything that is going to be happening prizes are giving away every tuesday and um enjoy the rest of your day Keep sharing on the Jeff Together group. Keep letting us know how your challenge is going, what your challenges are, what you're finding difficult, what you're finding easy, what's helping. You know, let us know what would help you more. Um, you guys know that's how it is on this group. There's always someone to help someone else. So I'm wishing you a beautiful day. I hope you all go look after your plants today. Give them some water, give them some love. Um, name them after yourself and maybe there'll be a little reminder to make sure to take care of all the parts of yourself. So have a beautiful day further, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, same time, same place. Bye.